Let us take a close look at what those who oppose God will do. Daniel chapter 7, verse 25. He will speak against the Most High and oppress His holy people and try to change. What will Satan, who opposes God, change? The set times and the laws. People in the world are following the changed law. Thus, whom do they eventually come to worship? In this way, the devil blinded people's minds so that they cannot go to the truth. Satan changed the set times and the laws to completely abolish the truth. No matter how much we teach them that Satan has changed God's laws, they cannot accept our sincere words. Let us also turn to the book of Acts chapter 4. Please read from Acts chapter 4, verse 17. But to stop this thing from spreading any further among the people, we must warn them to speak no longer to anyone in this name. Then they called them in again and commanded them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John replied, Which is right in God's eyes, to listen to you or to him? You be the judges. As for us, we cannot help speaking about what we have seen and heard. The devil hates the appearance of the name of Christ on this earth. It is because his name is always accompanied by power. The power of the forgiveness of sins and the power to heal diseases follow his name. All kinds of powers are given and fulfilled through his name. We just call on his name, but it becomes the key to the heavens and the earth. There is a lock that opens when the password is correct. All the laws and principles of heaven and earth will be active, and the spiritual powers of heaven will come down on the earth. So Satan wants at least one less person to call the name of Christ and says, isn't it just a name of a mere man? Everyone, while preaching the name Christ on Sang Hong, if someone says, isn't that just a name of a mere man? Please ask them this question. Among the religions in the world that people talk about, is there a single name that is not the name of a man? Name one. Is there any religion that does not say, I came to this earth to teach mankind? Some may hinder us saying, Why do you believe in a man, Christ on Sang Hong? Isn't it prophesied in Daniel chapter 7 that Satan will oppress God's holy people? Satan never leaves God's people in peace. In Revelation chapter 19, it is written, The rider of a white horse wages war, and he rode out as a conqueror bent on conquest. Who is he? His name is the Word of God. Who is he? The armies were following him, riding on white horses and dressed in fine linen, white and clean. Who are they? Their names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. It is you and me. Revelation chapter 18 explains, For mighty is the Lord God who conquers Satan. Heavenly Father is in heaven, and in the invisible world, Heavenly Mother is leading us despite all the hardships. Let us always think of God who goes through hardships and pain until we overcome. And also, never forget His grace of opening the way of victory for us.